for today's card, um, I want to use um, a few different papers on purpose this time. So I've already um, prepared um, a few colors that I want to use, and I also want to like um, have this pink one with a little bit more red. So I will glue on some like this scrap of red paper. Okay, so blah. this is like really a bit messy. So I want to have a little bit more variation here. Really need to get that off my finger. And then I will also I will use this pink one in the background of the tree for the for the bubbles. And I will cut it out beforehand because I will need it approximately in the size, not much bigger. Okay, so I will actually not need the trunk. Just leave it like that. And for the top part, um, yeah, I will I will cut out the top part first and then cut the paper and also with the bottom bottom part. So let's close this real fast and let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is cut out the the stripes. I didn't use a ruler for those. They are like wobbly and a little bit different each one but that's fine. The cutting will be a bit wobbly as well. Right now I don't have to decide which lines I will take out. I will do that once I have all the lines. Okay, so let's cut out this corner every second. Let's pop those out. Ah, didn't get it. That's pretty cool. And now <laughs> for the round shapes. Okay, so that is something I haven't really done before. I think the best way to do this is like turning the card around. Yeah, totally. This is really hard. Especially the, the very small ones. Yeah, but the best, what works really well is like turning the card around, okay? And just staying put with your knife. So if there are any expert paper cutters, um, I would love to hear suggestions on how to like better make these curves. But probably it just saves practice. I'm just thinking of maybe leaving off a few of those. It was much easier drawing them. Oh, I'll make another one. Just make another one here, <laughs> another one there. And, oh my gosh, this takes so much strength. Yeah, I think it will leave it like that. I have like three more in here, but I won't do them. And now I want to cut out like the outside of the tree. tree, And for that I will use my ruler because it's like a really long um, line to cut. And I think it will be a lot easier like that. Remember to, if you can, to cut away from your motif so that you don't cut into it. You have to be careful to stop. So I'm cutting out the biggest part at, as the last one. And the reason for that is um, that 
I want to have the like I want to keep the integrity of the card like the stability as long as possible and once I've cut out like a big shape everything will be more fragile and then cutting those small details would have been much more difficult so here we go one more cut here and we're done So the first thing I will do is I will like glue down my Christmas tree and I've cut this down to exact size but that was kind of risky. <laughs> um, you maybe should cut it a little bit smaller than your actual tree so that it doesn't show up here. So I will just pull that up again a little bit and cut off some of those sides. This is really not the right scissor for this kind of work. So let's see. Push this up a bit. It's just a tiny. So this is much easier than before gluing it down. So yeah, you really should do that. Okay, so now um, let's do the background. I was actually thinking of doing this, the background on the top, like that, and the, like some green on the bottom. But actually, I think. Having the green on the top and the beige on the bottom might look nice as well. So let's try that. I don't really like the, the green anymore. Like so, switching around things. Yes. Mm. No. Actually, no. Again, trying the dark one. If it's like, maybe it fits here. Okay, I like that because um, I have this color, like I have the same color in this beige one as well. So that makes it connect really nice. So let's see. So I do, do, I will use it like that so that we can see some of the pink which resonates with the pink bubbles and also some of the blue which will resonate with the background. So it kind of connects and that is nice. Okay. Again, you make your lines. Okay, you can carefully go like that. Have to be careful at the edges so I don't get the glue everywhere. Okay, I will some glue on this as well so it sticks to the background and I don't know how this I think okay hopla use some fresh paper You can reuse the paper once the glue has dried, but in between it's a good idea to change paper so that you don't get any glue stains on your black paper, which looks, yeah, it looks so nice. So, and also, 
don't know. My fingers are, my hands are kind of dirty. Maybe you want to wash yourself. <laughs> well, that looks nice. I do have some glue here on the edges. And cut off the overlap. I think that turned out really nice. And I will put it under a heavy book so that the glue will um, settle a little bit more. <laughs> 